Hello, today uh, again a second book review. Um, to me again a book review and this one is the second one. In this case it's um, Oh Great One from uh, David Novak. So for those of you who don't know David Novak, he had been the former CEO um, of Yum Brands, which is the mother company of KFC and Taco Bell and Pizza Hunt. And there's like Habit Grill coming now for it, but in the past it was also Long John Silvers and uh, A&W. So when I started at KFC, um, David Novak was the CEO and this is 2002. Um, I met him in Pulheim and it was really a remarkable experience and the recognition I received from him um, still stick with me in my heart for a long time now. So this book is all about recognition and it basically explains the process and the approach which he had and which he implemented in the company of Yum Brands on an example story which is leaned on to his life and his experiences at Pepsi, but gives um, a more storytelling part on it and yeah, it's a little more um, colorful or enriched, let's put it those words. And um, I would give a few words on this. So first of all, um, the main important part here is um, it really uh, is a book which resonates with me. Number two, it helped a lot of people around me. And number three, it also was like a remarkable read for many other people. Um, I will later go into a, a few um, quotes from other people who have been um, featured on the back side of that book. But from my side, I had a scenario a few days ago where the question was if we um, live recognition, mean it be monetary, but also just like being simple thank yous or little shows of gratitude, will the people not be feeling intrigued to expect that also in the future and have it like a deal? But I consider recognition as being something one-sided. You give recognition for something done and it's not a deal. You don't give it in advance and you don't necessarily have to put it monetarily. It many times is just like a thank you for a specific reason. And if you are able to follow that, that makes life a lot easier. So in, in this case here, there's a few words like for, which I would like to read out, like from Warren Buffett, for example. If you want to improve your life and the lives of those around you, just apply the 10 principles my friend David Novak lays out in this book. There was already something which was like fitting, hitting it on the nail, on the head. The second part is from General Raymond T. Odierno. It's a US Army, former Army Chief of Staff. A thoughtful, brilliant, easy to read tale that should be mandatory reading for all leaders, military or civilian. Um, also pretty close. If we go a little into the, um, the, the parts of the book, there's a lot of quotes in the beginning um, from Ken Blanchard, the one minute manager. Um, also from, um, I saw it before, it was, I think, not here, but on the backside. Yes, from Indra Noyi, who was a former CEO of Pepsi. And also from Susie and Jack Welch, um, also great people in management and literature. So, and at the end, this book is dedicated to attacking the recognition deficit that exists in our world today. To all the people out there who are doing great things and deserve to be recognized for it, this story is for you. And as it said, it's, it's, it's a story. It's a story tale, which is um, three major parts, which has some resources at the end and goes deeper into um, also acknowledgements and some notes about this book and also an explanatory to the why they're called OGO or O Great One, which is related to um, the nickname being given to David Novak and his family. And I would like to go a little away from the story itself because I don't want to spoil it too much, but it's like this kind of journey of people who are really in a deficit of feedback and people who, on the other hand, are um, afraid of giving feedback, giving recognition, let's say. Sorry, I mean uh, people deficit of recognition and also people in deficit of 
recognizing other people and being afraid of it in terms of, yeah, it's not necessary and not, not needed. Um, and this really shines through the story. I mean, I can talk about it, we can talk about the importance, but the storytelling in here really um, displays the pros and cons on the approaches and the living it and what happens if you have people inside your team who do not want to live that, who do not want to live recognition and a recognition culture. And if you have people in, in your ranks, what to do about it. And um, also to understand that maybe sometimes people in your company are not the right fit for the company. And um, that's something where you probably also have to let go sometimes and uh, accept that as well. Um, I would leave it now with a few more quotes. Um, one is a longer one from Susie and Jack Welch. An important and colorful book about a topic that is absolutely essential. When people care passionately about what they do, everything falls into place. And customer satisfaction and financial results follow. David's vast experience resonates throughout this book with useful and practical advice. Um, that was Susie and Jack Welch. And I want to leave it with one other one from uh, Ken Blanchett. He made a book on customer mania, which is like this principle of empowering your people to do extraordinary tasks towards a customer. And he made a book on Yum Brands, and I have this as well, which is really great to read as well. And it's, the quote goes as, Oh great one, is by far the best book on the power of recognition that I have ever read. It will make a difference not only in your life, but also in the lives of people you interact with at work, at home, and in your community. And this is um, really hitting it for me. Um, I realized so many times that I am still but even more, I was not giving enough recognition. And even now, it doesn't feel like I don't like to do it, but sometimes I think things happening are just the way it's supposed to be. And I assume that people know uh, what positive thoughts I have about what they are doing. But it's not the case. Um, you probably will always fall short in recognition then that the opposite happens that you recognize too much if you enjoyed this video then um, subscribe to the channel there will be more book um, short essays or ideas thoughts or just short takes as this one on books which i read in the past i will refine my uh, my approach on it uh, with your help so use the comment section down below and that's it from my side have a great one and read all great one from David Novak. Bye.